Intimidation. When I look at a person in the eyes and they don't want to look back, that means I got them. If I got you, you're not going nowhere. I'm going to go hard every snap. Sean Gary, defensive tackle, Paramus Catholic in New Jersey. His game is raw, it's ferocious. He plays with great explosiveness, power, technique, agility. You know, he's fast, he's explosive. I'm 6'5", 302 pounds. So not a lot of people think I can move how I can move, but that's probably my little secret that I got. Fast, physical, ferocious, and love to have fun. I do a lot to get my body right. My work ethic's hard. You know, I'll never give up. I won't stop until someone tells me to. His work ethic is unbelievable. I can push him and push him and push him. He'll say, we got to get this work in. I'm all right, I'm all right. We got to get this work in. A Mr. Dwayne, that's what I call him. He's my trainer. That's like a father figure to me. You know, I can talk to him about anything. Hey, legs, I ain't going to go. You got raw gold. You have to polish it up. What he has, I didn't give it to him. I was just blessed to be able to help polish it up. Sean wants to go 100% all the time. He strives for greatness. He's not there yet. What is there is the consistent effort. Bart Scott, that's like my mentor. That's like my big brother. It's a person that, that's been through where I want to go to. You know, I should show that I lean on when I need to. Who drive me, my family, my whole support system, because without them, who knows where I'd be right now. I want to be the best at what I do because I feel that me being the best at what I do can help my family in the long run. He's playing football for a different purpose, different sense, and I see it in his eyes because I was there once. I wanted to change my circumstances. I wanted to change my family's circumstances so I understand what burns and what fuels them. It's not about the football that impressed me about Rashad. It's the person. He's a gentle giant. He has one of those personalities that's inviting and to find a kid that's the number one kid in the country that walks around with so much humility. Being number one crew, um, it's a blessing. Um, it's something that me and my mom pray for. It's an honor. I'm very proud to see where he's at right now. To watch him play, it amazes me. In a college, I'm looking for having good food, <laughs> academic support, make sure my family comfortable. The school that is fortunate enough to get Rashawn is not just getting a great football player. I think they're getting a leader, somebody that they can be proud. I think Rashawn can be uh, one of the most dominant football players in collegiate history. I think he could be the number one overall pick. I think he can potentially be a Hall of Fame football player. He absorbs the game. He's passionate about it. He's hungry. And that's what it takes. I always say, you know, the day that I stop getting better is the day I got to stop playing. Got to go to the national championship and win that. So that's the next step. And then from there, I got to get a Super Bowl ring right? so I can get to my mother. My goal is to make it a household name. Go to college, holding records, going first round, you know, basically changing my family life. After a lot of thought, I decided to further my education and my football plan. Right. Michigan, go blue.